Hey guys, welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. What we have today is something a little bit different from, uh, I would say, a lesser known franchise, unless you're into like the Super Robot Wars and things like that and are familiar with at least seeing the mecha. This is the Sentinel 4 Inch Nail Ikusabi Wataru. This is from Mashin Hero Wataru. So, taking a look, this is part of the 4 inch Nail line, so he is just over 4 inches, uh, even to the tip of his hair. It's about four and a quarter inches tall. You can see to the top of the head, right in line, four inches. So they do have a Metamorph Force, Ryumaru, coming, I think, this month. It's December. It was actually delayed, so it'll go right along with them. Now, taking a quick peek at him, this sheath in the back, it's removable, but, I mean, he always wears it, so... No real point in removing it. It doesn't really take away from articulation or anything like that. But let's take a look at the accessories that come with them. Then we'll get right back to reviewing this guy. And alright, again, in case you missed it, a whole 30 seconds ago, about four and a quarter inches tall, four inches to the actual head. Another roundabout, not to be redundant here, but this isn't taking too long. Now, looking at the articulation, it's a lot like the rest of the 4 inch line. Uh, I've done quite a few of these figures, the Mega Man figures, some of the Gitter Robo humans, you know. They've got a good variety now amongst this line. So you see the 360 there, he can look up, he can look down. The neck joint is just like the Mega Man figures, but he has this kind of turtleneck-ish collar to a shirt, as well as this pendant right there that blocks the downward movement from going as far as it can. These shoulder pieces do have some play in them. Not a ton, but enough to look pretty cool and give them that full range. So, hand just popped off there. We'll worry about that in a second. But it can do a full 360. Alright. I just gotta find where I put the joint. Now, it does butterfly. Up and down swing. The elbows, single ball, but it goes farther than the normal 90 degrees. And you can see the wrist since the hand's off. There's some tilt there, and it just pops on and swivel at the hand itself. I don't know why that one keeps popping on and off. While I was doing the photography, it didn't seem to do that. All right, so the legs. Good range of motion there, in and out. The knees, double jointed. That kneecap actually goes forward and backwards. Good play with the ankle tilt, as well as forward and back, and the front of the foot moves up. So just for the sake, we'll do a quick walk and pose before we start getting into the accessories here. Oh, and he does have ab crunch as well as 360 waist swivel too. I don't know if I'm just not popping that on tight enough or what the deal is, but it is not wanting to stay. All right. All right, pretty simple walk and pose here. And even though I'm not really hitting it fast, it is a well-balanced figure. All right, looking through the LCD, that looks like a good angle too. So there we go. All right, and just showing how the faces work here. Just take off the top of the hair. That looks so horrible. Remove it. It comes with two additional faces. One's a very happy, elated face. Pick the head back in. Oh. I've got them all sorts of sassed out with the uneven hips. Okay. Now let's take a look at the regular smiling face.
All right, and part of the reason that his hips do that uneven thing is because the swivel is pretty tight. So when you go to rotate the hip, you actually move the hip joint itself, or rotate the thigh, you move the hip joint. Straighten the camera out a little bit. And there's a smile on the face. And let's look at some of the accessories that come with them. Comes with the roller skate wheels. They just peg into the bottom of his feet, and these wheels actually do roll. So that's pretty cool. And they peg in nice and tight, too. So that's actually pretty neat. Comes with, and I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar with this property. It's been some time since I've even seen it or thought about it. So it comes with a left arm. It could be used as a right arm as well, but apparently it's for the left arm. This is called the Senku no Uruwa, and it's a gauntlet. So we'll change that out. It just pegs off and pegs on. Ugh. Okay. We'll take the skates off. I mean, kind of seeing what they do. This particular hand that's holding the little ball here. It is called the Hentama. And it comes out. But it's just obviously made to clasp it. It has a kind of a circle cup inside to really grasp it well. Make sure it doesn't fall out, which is cool. So let's do a little something with that. We will actually take... One of the alternate left hands here. And we don't really use the stands often for the four inch no figures, so let's let's do that. All right, I'm gonna zoom out some. I kinda know what I want to do in my head, but I haven't really practiced this, but we'll see. Put this leg up, give him a little bit of a tilt. Okay. Oof, almost had it. Then my big clumsy hands jacked it up. My bad, my bad. I think that'd be it. Tilt it. Let's see. All right, what do you guys think of that? Not bad, right? for the sake of just showing off some balance there. And while we take a look at that, he comes with three swords. One, two, three. So, these swords, the name of them are the Yushinoken, the sword of the hero, Oshinoken, sword of the king, and the Ryu, no kin, this is the sword of the Dragon King. Alright? So each of these see or each of these swords, you see he has that sheath in the back. So they separate into two spots. Alright? So that's in case you want to take one of the handles. Go ahead and put it inside the sheath.
And then it also separates at the hilt of the sword in case you want to, geez, have them hold it. All right. So it comes with a holding sword for each hand. And we'll actually do a double fisted. Since he has the butterfly, let's give that a go and see how that works. There's one. All right, so I had to take it off camera uh, to look at the joints and figure it out. The problem was the butterfly joints go out much further than I thought that they did. But another, I guess, problem with this one is that since the hands don't go all the way around and can't really 360, it's just kind of a flat slit, you don't have as much play and you have to kind of move the wrist around and stuff like that. So that makes it a little bit more hard. But we'll go ahead and end it here. This has been Sentinel, their four inch nail Ikasabi Wataru from Mashin Hero Wataru. Hopefully, soon we'll have Ryomaru coming so that we can go ahead and have both of these guys, a boy and his mech, together. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the full written review and gallery on kumastyle.com. As for this video review, as always, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate your support, and see you next time.